these horses in my car got me going fast. I just want to do the dash from my pedal to the gas. Hello and welcome to another edition of Middle Earth Friday for June 23rd, 2017. This is episode 25. And today I'm going to talk to you about the upcoming Integrate 2017 event. So we're calling this the preview show. In addition to the preview show, we're also going to talk about the 100th edition of Integration Monday, which occurred this past Monday and had the Pro Integration Group taking live Q&A and it was all recorded. So I think that's worth checking out and we'll chat a little bit more about that shortly. So Integrate 2017, uh, this is the European edition and this is the biggest integration event of the year so far. Uh, certainly within the Microsoft ecosystem it is. And once again, this is being put on by BizTalk360. Uh, they've been doing this event for, I think it's around five years now. Uh, it used to be called the BizTalk Summit, but as Microsoft has expanded its integration offering, uh, the BizTalk360 event has embraced that. Uh, for me personally, this will be the fourth year in a row where I've had the opportunity to speak. Certainly appreciate the opportunity to head to London once again. Now here's a list of the speakers that'll be there. There's some familiar faces, but there's also some new faces as well. So I think uh, it's a good mix of, of old and new, but I think regardless, these are all top-notch speakers, all well-respected within the integration community. And I think uh, the attendees are in for a great show. So what I did want to do is I wanted to highlight some of the sessions that I'm looking forward to. Now, I know I'm going to take some flack for this. So I do think that all of the sessions are strong and I sincerely mean that. I think the, as I mentioned before, the speakers are all top notch. But these are some, I picked three per day just to kind of keep it even. And uh, so here's, here's my thoughts. So I think the first one, um, Microsoft brings intelligence to its hybrid integration platform. And this is put on by Jim O'Hara, who's the group PM for the pro integration team at Microsoft. And I'm looking forward to this. I'm hoping there's not uh, overlap with my session around bots, but I truly believe that IT is undergoing some disruption of its own. And I think what I mean by that is I think the way we approach integration is, is changing. I think no longer are we focused on integrating or automating transactions. I think we're now focused on automating insights. Uh, so without knowing a whole lot about what Jim's going to talk about, I certainly expect some flavors of that. Because I think as businesses look to actually scale, they're looking to scale not through adding people, but they're actually looking to scale through adding insight. And now if you have some sort of intelligence, whether that be artificial intelligence or machine learning, that's actually going to give you an edge up, I think more and more organizations are going to take advantage of that. So this has the opportunity to be quite transformational as businesses embark upon their digital transformation initiatives. So next up, messaging yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So I've got a little bit of insight into to what might be talked about here. So I think uh, it'll be really interesting for, for Dan to be able to, to share some of the things that his team has been working on. And next up or last for the Monday sessions is Azure Functions Serverless Compute in the Cloud. Uh, Jeff, I find, is a great speaker. I've enjoyed his talks before. And I think what's really interesting around what he's going to be talking about is this idea of velocity. And I think the velocity that comes from serverless is truly game-changing. And once again, I do think this is highly disruptive in a good way and highly transformative because now we have the ability to deliver more value to the business even quicker and in a consumption-based model, which is very important uh, for me and the, and the organization that I work for, um, because we're typically very happy to pay for value, but we're very reluctant to pay for peak, uh, because if you're paying for peak, you're basically running over capacity instead of on-demand type capacity. Now, moving over to Tuesday, so June 27th, I'm uh, curious to see bringing logic apps into DevOps with Visual Studio and monitoring. Now, this is a, an evolving story, I would say. I would say there's, um, you know, this is there's a real demand within the enterprise to, 
to have this end-to-end -end story. I think initially, you know, building logic apps within a web browser can be highly productive and it's a great way to do proof of concepts. But for, for those, and I would suspect that's most, if not all of us, we live in that enterprise world where you do need to move your interfaces through the different environments, dev, test, QA, etc. And so you always are going to have, you know, multiple sort of versions of your logic app, but it does become a question of how do you actually manage that? And how can you manage that in a frictionless way, um, you know, through automated deployments or continuous integration, continuous deployment. So very curious to see what Jeff and Kevin have on this session. Now there's some other good sessions on Tuesday as well, there's no question. What stood out for me was the Internet of Things or what Sam is calling the integration of things. Now we do a fair amount of IoT work um, at the organization that I work at, so I'm very curious to be able to compare notes uh, with these two guys. I know they're doing a lot of work in this space in Europe, so I, I think those will be great. Um, definitely of interest to me because of uh, a lot of the IoT work that I've been involved in. Now moving over to the last day, and even though this is the last day, it's still quite the impressive roster of speakers and sessions. But uh, I've selected these three. So I've selected Rethinking Integration from Nino. Now, if you were at the BizTalk Summit, I think it was actually four years ago, where Nino just kind of went off. And, uh, you know, he put a tremendous, he always puts a tremendous amount of energy and passion into a session. So I'm expecting nothing... Nothing less than that from Nino once again. I think he always puts on a good show. Uh, next up, Richard Sroder uh, talking about cloud native integration. So very curious, Richard does a lot of work within the open source community these days. And uh, he's working for a company, Pivotal, that's doing a lot of work around cloud native. So really curious to know how we can learn some of these cloud native techniques and actually use them in order to add velocity into how we build integration solutions. And last but not least, uh, Martin Abbott's going to be talking about zero to app in 45 minutes using Power Apps and Flow. And what's interesting about this is, you know, we as an organization have been spending more time with Power Apps. Uh, we did a project last year, which was really successful. We did a, a white paper with, uh, or we did a case study with Microsoft on and it went over really well. And we've done another Power App this year that we've rolled out company-wide and we were able to do that very quickly, um, just incredibly fast and have a very nice and um, beautiful app that we can actually, can actually use. And so I'm curious to see what uh, Martin comes up, to, up with in this particular session, but I do think that Power Apps and Flow are a pretty powerful combination and I think they're underutilized within the enterprise. So. Definitely interested to hear what uh, what Martin has going on. Now, one thing I will say about, you know, Integrate and, and what some tips, I guess. So there's going to be a lot of great speakers, um, you know, from across the globe that are going to be here. And, um, you know, there is a drinks and networking um, event, or I guess I'll call it a, a session or a time on Monday at the end of the day. And certainly take the take the opportunity to speak with these these experts both the Microsoft employees and the MVPs. Uh, they're not shy, they're happy to share, they're happy to have that conversation with you. So feel free to reach out and uh, you know bring your questions forward and have a conversation. I think they're more than happy to, to entertain that, uh, sharing is within uh, their DNA. So uh, just don't be shy and take advantage of the opportunity. So that's Integrate, uh, looking forward to attending feel free to say hi. I will be doing some recording while I'm there um, that will actually provide some content for future episodes. So keep your eyes open for that too. Now my session, what I'm gonna talk about is bots. And you can think of bots more in the sense of conversational apps. And I don't wanna to give too much away right now, but um, yeah, well, you'll understand sort of why I'm, I'm big on bots these days and I'm I feel like we haven't even scratched the surface when it comes to enterprise bots. And I do think there's an opportunity to do more work with bots. So here's one of the, the scenarios I'm going to be demoing where I've actually gone ahead and built a bot. And I've got uh, the, the, the focus is that it's an operational bot. So you can think of field workers. 
I'm out in the field. And they don't want to be, you know, tied up in all of these different enterprise systems. So what if they had the opportunity to actually interact with these systems, you know, through a bot or a conversational app. Now, in this case, I've actually integrated my bot with Microsoft Teams. Um, and I'll give you a flavor of what's involved in actually setting up one of those bots. Now, on the right hand side here, I've got the different technology stack that I am using. I'm using the Microsoft bot service. I'm using Azure API management as an API gateway. And then certainly I'm using Logic Apps as sort of my connectivity layer and light, lightweight workflow engine. And as part of this, I'm not gonna to dive too much into the scenarios, but we're gonna be talking to ServiceNow through a custom API app. We're gonna be talking to SAP through the on-premise data gateway. So that'll be new. And then there's another custom or third-party system called MOC. We're basically gonna tie this experience all up in a bot. Now, in addition to that, I also mentioned in my abstract how we're gonna integrate bots with cognitive services. And more specifically, we're gonna be looking at Lewis.ai language understanding. Now, once again, not gonna to go too far into it um, right now, but we're gonna have the ability to issue commands into the bot and actually have the bot understand our intents through Cognitive Services and Lewis AI. And I think this is extremely powerful when we think about bots in the enterprise. And um, I think there's gonna be some unique opportunities going forward in this space. And I'm happy to share those with you. Now, next up, we've got Community Corner and we have the 100th Integration Monday episode. And this is Q&A with the Microsoft Product Group. So first off, shout out to Sarah Vanna, his team and Michael Stevenson for putting this together. I think this is one of a kind. I'm not aware of any sort of other integration community or even technology community that's been able to pull off something of this magnitude for this long. So you think about 100 episodes, that's it's almost two years worth of content. And I know it has been spread over two years because they have taken breaks from time to time, but phenomenal and uh, a wealth of information. So certainly go ahead and, and uh, check out Integration Monday if you haven't already seen it. But definitely this episode, if you just want to get some insight into how Microsoft is positioning integration and how they're thinking about it, um, you're going to get some direct insight from the Pro Integration team. So as part of that, you're going to hear for, about from Logic Apps team, the BizTalk team, the Azure API management team, and the Azure Service Bus slash Event Hubs team. So great opportunity. Uh, they, they live filmed this, it's all video, and uh, some good insight in terms of where Microsoft is headed. So highly encourage you to check that out. So that is it for this edition of Middle or Friday. Um, hope you are able to join us at Integrated London. If not, the, I would imagine the sessions are gonna be recorded once again and made available. So I think either way, you're gonna have access to the great content that uh, I've just chatted about. So take care and we'll see you next week on Middleware Friday.